Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review The Great Wall. So The Great Wall stars Matt Damon, Pedro Pascal, and Willem Dafoe. The film is directed by Yimo Zhang. And The Great Wall tells the story of these bandits played by Matt Damon and Pedro Pascal who sneak into The Great Wall of China to steal the black powder, but the two of them get held as prisoners. While they are there, they have to help the Chinese army fight off these lizard monsters that the Chinese army themselves have prepared 60 years for. The Great Wall is a film that I didn't really have much expectations for. I didn't think the trailers for this film were really all that good. But you know, I do like Matt Damon, I do like Willem Dafoe, and I haven't seen this director's work, but I have heard incredible things about the films that he has made. This is apparently the most expensive Chinese film ever, which I find very impressive. And it's a combination of the American studios and the Chinese studios working together to make this film. But even with all that, I still didn't have much expectations for The Great Wall, so there wasn't really much that made me go, yeah, I want to see this. But I gotta say, The Great Wall surprised me because I had a lot of fun with this movie. Now, look, I'm not saying The Great Wall is an amazing movie. I'm not saying it's this great movie or anything, but it's a very fun movie. I thought The Great Wall was actually a very well written movie. I thought it was actually a very well executed movie and it was very cool to see a movie like this because most of the cast is Chinese. Yes, you have Matt Damon, Pedro Pascal, and you have Willem Dafoe, but aside from those actors, you actually have an all Chinese cast. I have to say, I like Matt Damon here, although his accent is really, really weird. I'm not gonna deny that. His accent goes in and out. One moment he'll sound like your American Matt Damon, Damon. Then the next minute, he sounds like that tough warrior. But despite the awkward change in accents, Matt Damon is actually still good in this film. He still brings such a fun screen presence. Yes, his character is one-dimensional, and you could say really every character in this film is one-dimensional, but I thought the actors, for what they were given, they didn't do too bad of a job. I still had a lot of fun with Matt Damon, and Matt Damon, you could tell when making this movie, he was having a lot of fun. Petro Pascal as his buddy, I thought he was really good here, and I definitely have to say, one of the things I liked about The Great Wall is the back and forth between Matt Damon and Pedro Pascal. There were a lot of times where the two of them having the little banter actually did make me laugh. Pedro Pascal in particular actually did make me laugh quite a bit. The actress, she plays the general that's like helping out Matt Damon prepare for this war that's going on. The general that is trying to have some kind of trust in Matt Damon because at first she doesn't trust him because obviously they get caught because they're trying to steal this black powder but then later on of course you could see that she's starting to like him more which was definitely very obvious but I have to say she was actually very interesting I'm gonna say as far as characters go she might be the character I found the most interesting I thought the actress did a really good job I really liked where they went with her so I was very impressed by her and every Everyone else in the cast, I thought they did a good job. Despite the fact that yes, they are underused and some just die very quickly when they're out in the war, but they actually did do good for what the script has given them. And the script, while it may not be anything groundbreaking, I actually really liked how it was overall written. I liked that it had fun with itself. And the film, although yes, it can take itself a little too seriously, it never took me out of the experience. It wasn't like Triple X The Return of Xander Cage uh, earlier this year where that film took itself so, so dramatically seriously that it really took me out of having fun with that movie big time. That's not really the case with The Great Wall. Despite it actually being quite serious in moments here and there, it never really took me out of the moment. I didn't mind it when it got a little serious here and there because I would say even when it was a little serious, it still knew to have fun with itself and there's plenty of action to keep me entertained. I honestly wasn't bored with this film. I know there could be a lot of people that
that will disagree with that, but I actually did not find this movie to be boring at all. It was only an hour and 40 minutes, and I say an hour and 40 minutes was the right running time for a film like this. And speaking of the visuals, that's definitely one of the things I have to say about this film. This is for the most part a visually breathtaking movie. Like wow, this movie is gorgeous. Not only cinematography wise, because this movie does have really beautiful cinematography, but just the visuals like the look of China, the armor on the army, those big fireballs. Yes, it's a little obvious they're CGI, but I still thought overall they looked really good. Even some of the slow-mo shots because there are slow-mo shots like when characters are dodging something that actually looked very cool and that's something I have to say too the action scenes are a ton of fun the first 30 minutes wow that was a really good way to start off the movie I was really impressed with how everything went down the first 30 minutes your first war sequence and I did really like how the army had different colors like for whatever duty the army is doing whenever they're in the middle of this big war against these lizard monsters it was very cool to see the color of armor like one will be doing the drumming and I and I thought that was very cool by the way the whole doom, 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 doom. Or there's this army that wears the blue color where they dive just to stab those lizard monsters. The other ones would shoot with an arrow. It was very impressive, honestly. The music and the Great Wall I also thought sounded really great too. And while these characters are one-dimensional, I'm gonna say specifically with like the general, Matt Damon, his friend, I still cared about these characters, honestly. I still found myself caring about the journey that they're in, even if they are one dimensional, even if the character development isn't quite there. They have a little bit of character development in this film, but nothing really too major, at least in my point of view. And although the climax is, wow, I'm gonna get a little more into the visuals on those lizard monsters, but despite that, I will say, even with all those lizard monsters piling up, even if, yes, the climax may have felt a little bit rushed, I had a blast with the climax, I'm not gonna lie. Now, the only problems I do have with the Great Wall is, like I said, uh, just right now with the lizard monsters, um, yeah, CGI on those monsters were very, very obvious. They could have been polished a lot better. When you kind of see them close up, they're fine looking. Then it's like the longer you look at them close up, the more distracting it is visually. So I thought visually it could have looked a lot better, especially considering this is one expensive movie. The visual should have looked better with the kind of money that this movie does have. But man, when the lizard monsters are piling up on each other, it's like a World War Z situation. You know World War Z where those running zombies are just piling up and all that? Yeah, that's the same with the Great Wall. It happens quite a bit here. It's a freaking CGI mess. And the green screen at times in this film you can definitely notice easily that they're behind a green screen. Now, I'm not saying the green screen is as obvious as something like Nine Lives, that opening scene of Nine Lives, because, oh my God, that was, whew. But yeah, there's times where the green screen in this film does look really noticeable. Also, there are things in this film that definitely don't make that much sense either. And just to name off a couple of examples, Matt Damon tries to be honest with the general. Because even though, yes, he's a bandit, he's trying to find this black powder to trade for something. Even with that, he is trying to redeem himself because this movie is showing like honor and trust, how honor and trust is the most important thing, which is something I like, by the way. But when Matt Damon's trying to be uh, honest with this general, the general just throws him and tell him like are you freaking serious this army has prepared for a war for 60 years so you mean to tell me with 60 years of preparation most of the army is getting killed left and right by these lizard monsters but Matt Damon and his buddy can kill off these monsters like freaking nothing and they didn't even prepare 60 years for this war yet they can kill these green monsters better and have more skill than most of the soldiers 
soldiers in the army. And then my last problem with the Great Wall is Willem Dafoe. And that's disappointing for me to say because I like Willem Dafoe. I think he's a really good actor. But oh my god. He's maybe the only not so good actor because everyone else I actually thought did a good job They did what they needed to do to tell the story do what the script tells them But as far as what the script told Willem Dafoe man did he feel so out of place at least Matt Damon despite his weird accent he at least tries to blend in the world that we're in but anytime it cuts to Willem Dafoe it just feels so out of place he doesn't belong in this film the character that he plays which is your generic bad guy he just wasn't interesting but overall you guys I had a lot of fun with The Great Wall this actually ended up being a better movie than I expected because I really did not go into this movie with with that much expectations but surprisingly it was a good fun cheesy popcorn movie in my opinion I thought the performances were good I thought the action sequences were a ton of fun whenever they were in the film visually for the most part aside from the CGI monsters and the obvious green screen I thought the film looks so beautiful it's very well directed by Yi Mao Zhang and by watching this film I could see that this guy has a lot of talent as a director and yes this is a flawed movie but it's a flawed movie that i personally had a lot of fun with and i'm gonna give the great wall three out of four stars so you guys in the comments down below let me know what you think about the great wall this is 22 tiger dude here and don't forget that i will always have tiger power